Don't ask where we got this, but you can see this is version 7, beta 99. It says no protect on there, so I think it's some kind of developer special version in there, not necessarily like a public beta-ish thing. CCR, what, 1016? Yep. All right, so there's six BGP sessions here, or BGP peers. You can see them right there. Each one's got, what, 500,000 routes, something like that? Yeah. And it's about to be cleared, I think. Yeah, there it is. Special can't command to kill all the sessions instantly. <laughs> that was Justin's finger. We're going to switch back over. You can see the CPUs. The sessions haven't actually reestablished yet. Nothing going on. All right, they're pegged. Notice how there's six sessions. They're all pulling routes over there on the far right. Then we switch back over here to the CPU's focus. You actually see six different uh, CPU processes going to 100%. That's because each one of those BGP peers is actually going into its own process. Up there, you saw how many routes were in the kernel. It was only showing 11. So that means it's actually waiting for the full feeds to come in from each one of those peers, right? Yes. Before. And so mm -hmm. they said it detects when it's done doing that because routes pretty much stopped in for some amount of time. So you can see they've all loaded. CPUs have all stopped except for one. So now that's the BGP process actually doing the calculation on those. So this part is still obviously single threaded. It's doing that calculation. And it takes less time than it used to, obviously. How long was it to do that calculation? Like 30 seconds? About a minute, I think. A minute to 30 seconds. You guys can figure it out watching this. But the idea being, if you have 10 peers, then each peer gets its own as it's pulling in that feed. Once it gets steady state, then that triggers the BGP uh, calculation to happen. It's event driven, then it'll go ahead and recalculate. So if it's not a huge number of routes, it won't take long, right? So if there's minor churn, all right, what does it mean when it does this? It's now putting the routes in the kernel. There you go. And that's a multi threaded process. So they've multi-threaded as much as they possibly could. Yeah. Calculation is the only thing that's single-threaded. So you wait for this to go to zero, and that means it's installed all of those routes into the kernel, into the RIB, the routing information base, routing table. So we're just waiting for it to calm down. And then we're going to go up. And show and the number of routes we have. Yeah. There's three and a half million routes, I believe. Yeah, so you can see on the old one, it was 11 routes. It's running right now. This yeah. takes about 10 seconds. Yeah, it's not very long. There you go. Three and a half million routes. You can see it took 10.3 seconds. We're about to do a search for a specific uh, prefix. Yeah, so I slowed it down right there just so you could kind of take a look at the screen a little bit longer. And now it's starting to run in earnest. I think this takes about 16 seconds. It's supposed to also use less memory as a whole once this thing is operating. There you go. So it shows you right there 16 seconds is how long it took to run that command. 